Combined with the rest of the world, our emissions are contributing to the fastest rise in global temperatures in the last 10,000 years. Transportation emissions make up about 35% of the greenhouse gas emissions in the state. DEQ's Erica Tim says the state of Oregon wants to be a leader in fighting climate change. And the state also has greenhouse gas reduction goals, and transitioning to electric vehicles is a key way that we can meet those greenhouse gas reduction goals. You know, I love to talk about EVs. Gary Exner is a member and former president of the nonprofit Oregon Electric Vehicles Association. He's been touting the benefits of EVs for more than a decade. Are EVs actually better for the environment? They are. Uh, there, there's, uh, they have a higher carbon footprint out of the factory, but that's quickly repaid. That carbon repayment is around a year depending on the car and where that power for your EV is coming from. Our electric grid is already one of the greenest in the nation, and it will get greener as utilities are required by law to transition away from fossil fuels towards renewables like hydro, wind, and solar. EVs are three and a half times or 3.4 times as uh, energy efficient as a gasoline car. ODOT's Mary Brazel also has decades in educating people about electric vehicles. She's focused on efficiency and the environment. And so you're you're using less energy. So not only is the energy you're using cleaner, but you're using less of it. And according to the Oregon Department of Energy, Oregonians spend nearly $6 billion a year to fuel our vehicles. That number from the Biennial Zero Emission Vehicle Report. We don't produce gasoline here in this state, so all of that money goes elsewhere. The state says more EVs on the road would keep a chunk of that fueling money in the local economy.